evidence of that. I asked Keith when he came mm -hmm. in, I said, it's be hard to have a conversation mashed up at the table. He's like, I have been vaccinated. Y'all mm -hmm. have been va vaccinated. We're, right we're, apart. We're, we're enough far apart that we can have the conversation because mm -hmm. that's where some of the skeptics go. Well, how can we eat? How come is the dinner table magical that you don't get COVID at the dinner mm -hmm. table? Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, no, it's just a matter of a limited amount of time. And I'm assuming that you can't eat with a mask on. You have to be able to do it. So give us a little science on that mm -hmm. and the mask. Well, and if you're sitting on top of each other at a dinner table with like eight people around a table like this, yes, you're at risk. So if you're spread out like this, that's a whole different situation. So you do have to be cautious sure. about how you choose to go about doing some of these activities. Doesn't mean you can't do them. You just have to be smart about it. You're not going to have dinner in a submarine. Right. You know, <laughs> right? You need, a little, you need to you be on the porch. You need to be on the porch. You need right. a fan. You know, all right. the things. Yeah. And uh, the way the my wife, pretty good right well, now, the way so my you. wife and I look at a restaurant if we go to it is how tall is the ceiling? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And that sounds stupid, mm -hmm. but airflow. you know what? It's airflow. Yeah, it's it's airflow. airflow. And the science is very clear that airflow saves. So I, I will not go to a restaurant that has low that ceilings. Right. And that sounds silly, right. but, but I know the science. But you're also not going to go with 12 people sitting at one table. And I'm not going to go with 12 people. Right. It's going to be two <laughs> of us that are both vaccinated. Yep. And, and if you go to a restaurant and... And the serving and wait staff are not wearing masks. You should leave. You should think twice and probably I, I, leave. And, and right. I walk out. Yeah, yeah I this, walk is, out. this is what's interesting yeah. to me. And we'll go that route for one second because I think mm -hmm. that's a great point is we don't have a problem with arriving at a restaurant and knowing our servers having a mask. We're like, okay, that's fine. But we have a problem wearing as a culture when we're going, no, I'm not going to put it on. I'm like, but you're good with the server because you go, well, that's kind yeah. of the ex mm -hmm. expectation if they're in that industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where I'm kind of coming back going, well, if you're in a space that we know we're in mm -hmm. a, a, a surge and the only thing we have is that because the majority haven't gotten vaccinated and right. we don't have enough time for the vaccination to take place yep. fully for everyone yep. to get that's all we have. That's exactly right. Well, and right. if you're a good Christian person who is truly trying to share that Christian love towards other people, which is our goal, sure, right? That is the goal. When you go to a restaurant, if your server comes to you to deliver something or fill your Coke, you should put your mask on real quick. I always, if they come to ask me for my order or if they come to bring me my, I, I stick my mask on. I may just be holding it My real mask quickly. is on my ear. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> that, See, when I didn't know that, I don't do that. That's a great advice. The, I've never, yeah, that's the good. outbreaks that we, because as public health, <laughs> we work the outbreaks. Sure. We're the ones that see all the cases and we have to do all the contact tracing. Mm -hmm. The people who are getting sick in restaurants are the wait staff. Yep. 